Welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer on this Thursday of the third week of Advent. And our gospel today as we continue the uh, Christmas story um, uh, leading up to Christmas. Uh, today our gospel is the visitation where Mary goes to her cousin Elizabeth in the hill country and as she's greeted by Elizabeth and greets her cousin, um, we see this uh, beautiful uh, occurrence of John the Baptist leaping for joy within the womb of his mother. Um, it's uh, just a, you know, it, it really harkens to the... Um, reality of life at the moment of conception these little ones in the womb you know, very capable of reactions and they they already have a life so it just makes that the the idea of abortion all the more all the more heinous so as we celebrate life and the birth of our lord you know, we have to really take into account the uh, the travesties that are committed every day in around the world in this country and everywhere else where life is uh, life is not respected or held in high esteem so let us pray for an end an end to abortion and uh, you know, that's really, you know, we can take scripture and apply it to our lives today. And we should, you know, that's, we should always uh, always use uh, scripture as a guidepost for how we live. And uh, in this instance today, very, uh, very, very important for us to to connect uh, our lives to Scripture and live in such a way that uh, life is is honored. It's the gift that it is. It's a beautiful gift. It's an eternal gift. So let us pray today as we pray our evening prayer that in the light of the peace of Christmas we can uh, shine the light even brighter in the hearts of all people. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance, Lord. Make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Come and rescue me, for you are my refuge and my strength. O Lord, remember David and all the many hardships he endured. The oath he swore to the Lord, his vow to the strong one of Jacob. I will not enter the house where I live, nor go to the bed where I rest. I will give no sleep to my eyes, to my eyelids I will give no slumber, till I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling for the strong one of Jacob. At Ephrathah we heard of the ark, we found it in the plains of Urim. Let us go to the place of his dwelling. Let us go to kneel at his footstool. Go up, Lord, to the place of your rest. You and the ark of your strength. Your priests shall be clothed with holiness. Your faithful shall ring out their joy. For the sake of David, your servant, do not reject your anointed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Come and rescue me, for you are my refuge and my strength. Bless those, O Lord, who have waited for your coming. <coughs> Let your prophets prove to be true. The Lord swore an oath to David. He will not go back on his word. A son, the fruit of your body, will I set upon your throne. If they keep my covenant in truth and my laws that I have taught them, their sons also shall rule on your throne from age to age. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling. This is my resting place forever. Here have I chosen to live. I will greatly bless her produce. I will find her poor with I will fill her poor with bread. I will clothe her priests with salvation, and her faithful shall ring out their joy. There David's stock will flower. I will prepare a lamp for my anointed. I will cover his enemies with shame, but on him my crown shall shine. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you chose to suffer and be overwhelmed by death in order to open the gates of death in triumph. Stay with us to help us on our pilgrimage. Free us from all evil by the power of your resurrection. In the company of your saints and constantly remembering your love for us, may we sing of your wonders in our Father's house. Bless those, O Lord, who have waited for your coming. Let your prophets prove to be true. Turn to us, O Lord. Make haste to help your people. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath and the moment to judge the dead, the time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now have salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Turn to us, O Lord, make haste to help your people. A reading from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Stop passing judgment before the time of the Lord's return. He will bring a light, he will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will manifest the motives of our hearts and then everyone will receive praise from God. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. Let your face shine upon us, and we shall be saved, Lord God of power and might. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. O radiant dawn, splendor of eternal light, Son of justice, come shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. 
He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich. He has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O radiant dawn, splendor of eternal light, son of justice, come, shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. We humbly pray to Jesus Christ, who rescues us from the darkness of sin, and in faith we cry out, Come, Lord Jesus. Lord, gather together all the people of the earth and establish with them your everlasting covenant. Come, Lord Jesus. Lamb of God, you came of old to take away the sin of the world. Purge us from the dregs of our guilt. Come, Lord Jesus. You came to recover what was lost. Come once again in your mercy, lest you punish what you have recovered. Come, Lord Jesus. Our faith seeks you out. Let us find everlasting joy with you when you come, Lord, when you come. Come, Lord Jesus. You will judge the living and the dead. Graciously gather the dead into the ranks of the blessed. Come, Lord Jesus. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer our prayer to the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, hear the prayers of your people. May we who celebrate the birth of your Son as man rejoice in the gift of eternal life when he comes in glory. For he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Apologize for my voice, but apparently I've uh, had an encounter with a cold of some sort, so a little coffee and raspy. Uh, pray for me that I get better real quick. Thank you. See you tomorrow.